Hello, my friends. Liberty Garden, August 5th, on a nice, humid, hot day at the farm. It's Chachi in the summer, in the, in the shade. Anyway, uh, so feeding the cows. And I unloaded 14 bales of uh, hay there in that barn over there. So I'm getting ready for this winter. So right now, apparently, there's only been two cuttings of hay in my region. And uh, that was because there was so much rain earlier this year that they didn't get to do a third cutting. So now they're waiting for a little more rain to do a third cutting. So who knows if that's going to materialize or not. Last year, we were like this, and we didn't really get any significant rain until this year. So anyway, um, today I bought five railroad ties. And I got some concrete over there. And I'm gonna go put some uh, corner braces in the back of the property. Man, it's, I'm really dreading that today. It's a lot of work and it's just myself out there. But anyway, I'm gonna we'll see what I can do. Uh, and that's about it, I think. I took a nasty fall a while ago. I was feeding the cows and I was kinda rushing to to get to the corrals before they they get on top of me and i tripped on a freaking cockaburra those things have a lot of uh there is to stumble the, to to trip on them and uh so i didn't realize it but um the, my reading glasses came out of my pocket and and then i was wondering where are my reading glasses well when i went back looking for them when I remember that I had taken a fall over there and I went back looking for them, I saw that uh, all the cows had trampled them. So, so much for that. But I always keep an extra pair in the truck, so I got another one here. And that's that. I always keep several everywhere because they are so useful. But anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get going before it gets hotter and see how much I can get done. There's number 31. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Thomas Money. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Anyway, I'll talk to you later, folks. Hello, my friends. Back to you from the back of the farm. This is a caterpillar. So, my neighbor and I came back here and we set these this railroad tie here to make a brace with that post so the fence is going to go from there to here and then we set these other two railroad ties over here dear lord it's 103 degrees right now i am done i am literally done So we had dug, we had done the dug, the holes about three weeks ago. I came back and they were they were already like they already had some dirt in them already from rain and stuff. So I had to dig out about a foot of dirt from each with a post hole digger. And here's the other two braces, the other, the other two posts. It's right there. That's gonna be another brace. That little tree's gonna go out. And then from here, from this brace, this is the piece of fence I was clearing the other day. You see the fence straight down, down there. So that's gonna be it. It's about 150 yard pull, I think, more or less. I put two bags of, so basically I put 120 pounds of uh, quick crate on each of these holes. And that's, that should do the trick. But I am spent, guys. I mean, I'm literally spent. This, this heat is just so damn overwhelming. If I don't get out of here, I'm gonna freaking heat stroke. And I ain't kidding you guys. I don't know if it's just more heat this time, or I think I'm, I'm getting a little older and a little more susceptible to, to heat. 
Because when I put when I put the I mean when I, when I was putting the braces when I was a little younger, five or six years so ago, I, I, I can work a lot longer. But I don't know. It's just uh, maybe it wasn't as hot back then. I have no freaking idea. Even Chechi wants to go already. <laughs> anyway, folks, that's all I got for today. Getting my tools up and getting out of here. I am. I couldn't do anything else right now. I'm done. It is so hot. Even though I'm in the shade, there's nothing, no air moving. It's just hot. Okay, folks, until next time.